So anyone who's watching this, Murray also wrote a blog um, about the partnership um, with Winter Shore Dare. So that's obviously on the website, icon.co um, slash blog. So you'll be able to go there and see it. Um, but one of the comments that you made was around UX UI, because I think that's part of um, you know, any type of project that I think sometimes people think it's too pretty and nice to have and not needed, but actually is absolutely fundamental to the success of a project because users can, that's how users essentially buy into it because they can visually see what's going to happen. Um, and I know that you mentioned in your blog post um, that how we're using UX UI resources now within the project um, to help us. Would you like to expand on that at all? That's exactly right. UI has always been really important to us and we've always prided ourselves on making things look good. Um, when we first started in 2007, the only tool that was available was a drawing tool. And I actually used numbers, I think, in the early days because it, it was actually the best. But things have come on a long way. And since about 2015, 16, some new tools have been appearing and a whole new workflow around UI UX has come out. That's user interface and user experience design. As you say, Effie, it's absolutely key because that's what people will, that will be how people interact with the product at the end. And everyone wants it to look good, whether, whether it's spoken or unspoken at the start of the project. If it looks great and it's nice to work with, people love it. It's, it's a really key part. And we found that the, the most uncontrolled projects we've done are where that work gets done on the fly during the build stage, because the people who end up doing the code, if they have to also design how it's gonna work, it's very time consuming because they have to stop and think and it's not necessarily clear. And you, they may just do something to get it done and it doesn't, it's not a good decision long-term. Uh, uh, and also coders aren't necessarily graphic designers. The way someone is trained to write code doesn't mean that they're good at thinking about how things should be on the page. So it, it's actually a different skill set as well. So we found getting, getting everyone involved and bought in early on to the user experience and user interface makes such a huge difference. And it's nice to have nice looking images then to, to show people yeah. through the project. And yeah. now we've, all, we've always known that and that's what we've tried to do, but, but the, the beauty of the new tools is they're web-based and they can also export component libraries at the end of the work that the developers can use to speed up the process. Uh, so we're using a tool called Figma, uh, which has been great. And Vintasal have invested a lot in this. They've actually, they've come up with a design library at the start of this project, which has made our lives much easier. There's already all choices on colors, styles of things, icons, they're all made, it's great. And we can just plug them in. Brilliant. And I think because um, lots I know I often get like when we, I've spoken to different people in the past about different things, they, they always think UX and UI are the same thing and they're not. They are they are different. I know you touched on that. Um, but I think for anybody watching, if you're unsure of what that means, um, user, UX is, is the experience. It's kind of like the journey and the flow generally how people get through and they sort of go through different screens, how they get the information that they want to, etc user interface the UI is actually the design so that's actually going to be a button it's just going to be your style your branding colors it's going to be a style guide those things and sometimes they are two different people um sometimes if they if that person can hold both those skills and it'll be the same person mm. um so I hope that's correct <laughs> that's yeah, yeah that's there. exactly right <laughs> user interface sometimes you can't draw user experience yeah um it, it's it's what happens when but other times it, it's more obvious it's like the placement of something on the screen yeah. to make sense. But yes, that's exactly right. It's, it's how it, how customers experience it. 